big dreams, snapshot desire, what you believe is what you achieve, manifestation, soul creation, live your life, make it right, live by design, not by default, you don't get ahead by pace and fall, it's all in the mind, body and soul, against all odds, now take on, the world is waiting for And it's sort of a concept of who we are as human beings. So I want you to think of yourself as an iceberg. The universe has never made a meaningless act. Everything in nature has significance in some way. Is, do any of you guys ever like to listen to nature shows, National Geographic or PBS or anything like that? Yes, right? Just last night there was a Nowhere show. It just blows me away how everything fits together with everything else. The way the planet was formed, everything was necessary for us to be here today. It really doesn't make sense to think that all this abundance stops right at your front door. It stops right at your wallet. I want to tell you today a little bit about my story because I thought many, many times that it was too late. But it's not just that. Because there's people in this world that don't have to get up anymore. Look at Oprah. Oprah doesn't have to get up in the morning to go to work. I think she might have been able to have scraped together enough to maybe make it through for the rest of her days, right? But does Oprah stay in bed? No. She gets up with even more oomph, with even more gusto, to start a new project, to do a new thing, to do something. What is that? What is that in you? And even you, if you get a day where you don't have to get up, you can really stay on that day that you're dreaming of, how long does it really last before you get bored and you get fidgety? You think it's something that you want to do. At the very least, you'll pick up a book. We are simply not made to be like cucumbers and to just lay there and do nothing. Bring in water. I want you to think of yourself that there's more to you than meets the eye. Because every iceberg, or for that matter, go home, fill a glass, of, uh, glass with water, put an ice cube in, and you'll see how much is floating at the top. And it's the same ratio for every ice cube and for every iceberg. Only 4% floats at the top. And that 4%, that's what's visible, that's what's on the surface. What's sitting here right now of you, that's your 4%. That's what's visible, that in this, that's what's in time and space. But that's not really who you are. Who you really are, your gifts, your talents, your personalities, your strengths, your abilities, all those things are intangible. But they make up who you really are. Forgiveness is not a process that we could follow step by step. Rather, it is an awareness that we gain. As long as we're caught up in tunnel vision, all we can see is the injury and the wrong that has been done to us. In order for forgiveness to occur, we must step back and see the bigger picture. And in order to see the bigger picture, we must turn to truth. Illness is never something that is meant to happen. There's not a power out there that means for you to get sick. Always there was a cause, a lack of awareness that disrupted the flow of your body to stop it from functioning the way it was meant to.